Armed with buckets and a sieve, Coastal Federation volunteers David and Dick are ready to comb the beach for tiny pieces of plastic. I've always been interested in plastic pollution and the more I've learned about microplastics, I wanted to sort of learn about how it affects us locally and I think this is a good attempt to find a baseline on our North Carolina beaches. As a former high school science teacher teaching AP Environmental Science, um, I, I, I do believe in citizen science. I think it has some value. And this essentially is a citizen science program. Researchers around the country are only just now beginning to understand microplastics. You know, we have more questions than answers right now. We're working with a lot of researchers both around the state and the country to really understand the impact of these microplastics both on the natural environment as well as on human health. A microplastic is any piece of plastic that's less than five millimeters in size, and it can be that tiny from breaking down in the environment over time or because they are part of something that broke apart. So they're eaten by fish, they're eaten by birds and marine mammals, as well as even our oysters and filter feeders. And so as they work their way into these organisms, they work their way up the food chain and unfortunately a lot of times into us. That's why citizen science projects like this are critically important. Hope is that with this program we can really have them establish you know what the problem is how pervasive these microplastics are and see if there's one specific type of microplastic that they're finding so that we can try to address it from a policy perspective the more than 30 volunteers are all assigned to a different area of beach along the southeastern stretch of the state and for the next six months on a weekly basis they'll keep searching and collecting microplastics you no know, it's hands-on that's what i always taught in class and I think it makes people feel connected to be able to do that. I think it's real important that people get involved in their own local communities as far as protecting our, our coastal environment in North Carolina because uh, it's second to none. Reporting from Wrightsville Beach for the Coastal Federation and WRAL, I'm Stacia Strong.